Hi guys, it's Colleen here. And I am here to talk to you today about determining your skin type. So how do you do that? First, you need to know what are the skin types? How many are there? And what characteristics are there to each skin type? Then based on your personal experience, you can pinpoint which skin type you may possibly have, right? So let me begin. So there are four skin types. You have dry, you have normal, <clears throat> then you have combination skin and oily skin. So what are the characteristics of each type of skin? For dry skin, you will notice that your skin is just that. It's dry. It lacks moisture, lacks hydration, um, very minimal to not like no oil secretions on the skin. You may experience flaking redness the skin may be so dry and like moisture starved that it is itchy and red um pore size and pores are usually for a dry skin are are not visible then you have normal skin for a normal skin there is enough moisture in the skin that it's not dry it's not like severe it's not dehydrated um you have enough oil secretions to keep everything looking nice and supple and rosy and the pore size they're really they're normal they're not like over dilated um the sizes there you, you really have to go in and like stare and examine the skin up close and personal to really see the pores if any are visible and then you have combination skin so <coughs> excuse me guys for combination skin you may notice that the t your t zone which is here and sometimes the cheeks get oily then the rest of your skin like here here it's fine you may notice you have like when you go in and you look at it with the naked eye in the t-zone you may see some pores that are larger than others they're dilated then if you look in the places where you're not experiencing any excess oil secretions you look at the pores and like you really have to go in and look and examine it because everything is pretty okay right so then so this type of skin is a combination skin normal to oily then you may have another type of combination skin where you experience normal normal sec like secretions and you have a good level of moisturization in the skin but then other parts of the face you experience dry patches so that's a combination skin where it's like dry to normal so those are the two types of combination skin that I notice most frequently. The last skin type 
is oily skin. Oily skin, basically, almost all day, every day, it's just oily. It's, it's a battle to control the level of shine on your face. It's a constant battle all the time. Um, like right now, I am speaking to you guys via this video and I wash my face an hour ago and I am starting to notice a sheen on my skin an hour ago, right? So, um, an oily skin after washing it, maybe a couple, uh, uh, an hour to two later, you'll notice the shine. It starts in the T-zone and then it just, oh, it starts in the T-zone and, and, and as I like to say, it ra the glow just radiates and takes over the whole face. <laughs> When you look at the pore, uh, the size of the pores, um, they're vi my, my pores are visible. So I am always doing anything I can to keep them, the, my face cleansed and hydrated. Oh, hydration is very important for oily skin. There's uh, some people have this um, are falling for the hype, listening to the myth that oily skin does not need to be moisturized. And I'm here to tell you that that is incorrect. All skin needs to be moisturized, even oily skin. So... That is all that I have in regards to determine, um, knowing the different skin types. And if you have any questions or need help determining your skin type, please feel free to send me a message. You can always email me at c o l l e e n j. A B R A H A M dot at gmail dot com. Sorry about that. At gmail dot com, or you can send find me on Facebook and send me a private message. You just look for Colleen Abraham. I hope that this video helps you, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.